What's going on guys? Welcome back to episode of Fishing a Flare. So today I am doing a video. This is going to be a little bit of a trick slash hack slash whatever you want to call it on how to catch more fish on chatterbaits. So what I've got here, this is my chatterbait box. Ton of stuff in there, bunch of different colors, but I like to keep it pretty simple. Now I'm not going to be going over, you know, chatterbait fishing 101. This is just a couple of tips and tricks that you can do to catch more fish. And it's probably not going to take very long for me to go over these. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the two tips and tricks, the hacks, the modifications. I do to my chatterbait to catch more fish, and then I'm going to show you some awesome fish catches that I had on the New Tech Crazy Jig. And for those of you guys who don't know, these are all New Tech Crazy Jigs. I don't use the actual chatterbait. Uh, this is a New Tech Crazy Jig brand. That's what all I use. Uh, they work phenomenal. They got weed guards. They don't get hung up. And if you guys want to buy any New Tech branded stuff, there's a link in the description, and you can use promo code FLAIR to get 15% off. For those of you who don't know, I offer a lot of discounts for my subscribers. In every single one of my YouTube videos, I have a big section of discounts for you guys that you guys can go check out. So before you order any tackle, whether that's from Tackle Warehouse or a Lucky Tackle Box, New Tech Lures, Seagar Line, um, anything like that, I always have I always have discounts and promo codes for you guys to use. So again, after I'm going over these, you guys can stay to the end just to see the awesome fish that I catch on these baits. So I'll start it off. This is the one I'm going to pull out. This is a brand new, this is a new tech, this is a crazy jig, it's the Blitz Crazy Jig, it's brand new, no modifications done, just had a big order come in and I've got to modify a bunch of these, so I figured I'm going to sit down and talk about some of the modifications I do. So for those of you who use these new tech crazy jigs, you may realize they do tend to come to the surface. Um, some other brand of chatterbaits do do that as well, um, some do not. But for me personally, I like fishing a chatterbait just a touch deeper than most guys. I feel like I got I get a lot bigger bites that way if I fish you know, below five feet. And there's one trick that I do to make sure that I get my chatterbait down and it doesn't come to the surface. Like I said, here is a non-modified brand new chatterbait. Blade, blade looks completely normal. So the first thing I do is I bend the blade. So I'll take my favorite pair of pliers. These ones here, these are the real sonar pliers. These are actually my favorite fishing pliers uh, for a few different reasons. One, because right here is a braid cutter and you guys know how hard it is to cut braid with scissors and stuff. Really good braid cutter. Has like a little knife on there so you can cut line, cut whatever you need. It's very, very sharp. And then on this side, it's got a nice little hook file. It's kind of like a little multi-tool, but it works really well and that's what I'm gonna be using today to modify my chatterbait. So you guys can see here, that blade is perfectly straight. What you wanna do so you want to take your pliers and you want to put them right about there. And this is get, this gets kind of tough. You might want to use like a vice grip if you've got them. Uh, but basically what you do is you hold it and you rotate your pliers back like that. So you can see it bends. See there it's perfectly straight. Your chatterbait's sitting like this. You want to rotate it this way. Rotate it back. So take your pliers. Start bending it. It does get kind of tough at sometimes. Just keep working it back, working it back as far as you can. And when you're done, it's going to look like that. You can see there's a nice little bend in it right there. What that'll do is when that chatterbait's coming through the water, that little bend right there, when that water hits that bend, it helps push the chatterbait down. It just keeps it from rising to the surface. So you take your pliers and you just make a nice little bend in it, nothing too crazy like that, and you guys will be amazed at the difference that that little bend right there will make. That's just one trick I learned from the owners of New Tech. I was, you know, I was talking to them saying, hey, you know, your baits are kind of rising up. I'm not sure if I really like that. They're like, hey, just, all you got to do is just bend them um, if you want to fish a little bit deeper. The other thing that's nice is, me, me, you know, maybe you guys are thinking, oh, that's kind of a pain to have to go through and bend every chatterbait. But here's the deal, in the spawn, I'm fishing in six inches to a foot of water. So that's the other thing, is, is, is it's nice to get chatterbaits that do rise to the surface. Because if the fish are chasing bait, chasing bluegill, you can burn it and it'll come to the surface and then go down and then come to the surface. Like really erratic, almost like a fluke style bait. Um, so you can you can really fish it different ways. So that's why I like using these new tech, uh, the crazy jigs, this is the Blitz crazy jig, uh, because it's very versatile. You can basically turn one lure into a few different ones. So once you have the blade bent like this, what you guys might notice, especially with these ones, uh, bluegill colored pattern ones, is this is a very shiny blade. I don't know about you guys, but the last time I saw a bluegill or anything like that, it did not have a big shiny forehead. So what you do is you take your trusty Sharpie here, and you can actually use the pliers to hold the blade so you don't actually color you know, on your fingers and stuff like that. What you want to do is you just want to take that Sharpie, and you just want to color it. Just color it all the way through. It, it, does, it, you, it does tend to rub off after some time, but for the most part, it'll stay on there. You can see there I got one side done. Then you just want to flip it over and do the next side. So when you get done, it's going to look something like this. You guys can see it's kind of black. Uh, of course, you could probably spray paint it or do anything like that. Uh, but what it does is it just reduces that flash, makes it look a little bit more natural. Now, the other thing is if you're using a shad colored chatterbait, something like this that resembles a shad, you might want to leave that chatterbait uh, silver. You definitely want to bend the blade, of course, 
uh, if you're wanting to fish a little bit deeper. Uh, but what that blade will do is it will give off flash just like a spinner bait would. So anytime you're trying to resemble a shad, you want to leave that blade shiny. You know, you don't want to color it. I don't think it would hurt it. Um, it really just depends, you know, if it's sunny outside, if it's clear water, any type of stuff like that. But if you're fishing any type of bluegill pattern, black and blue, anything like that, you definitely want to color it in because you don't see any bluegill swimming around with a big shiny flashy thing there. Doesn't mean you won't catch fish if you don't color that in because I'm sure a lot of you guys that have thrown chatterbaits are probably thinking I've never colored that in and I've caught hundreds of fish on chatterbaits. I have too. It's one of those things that I use in tournaments, one of those tips, tricks, uh, hacks, that type of stuff. Uh, that I think that I do that maybe will help me catch you know a couple more fish throughout the day. It's not gonna make the it's not gonna make or break your fishing trip and have you catch a hundred fish versus zero. But in the end, I believe it's just a confidence booster and it'll help you catch fish. So hopefully this video wasn't too long. I'm gonna throw in a few catches of big bass that I caught on the New Tech Crazy Jigs. Again, if you guys want to buy any of the New Tech lures, I have a 15% off promo code Flare. Go to their website, type in Flare, and you get 15% off your order. But that's it for today's episode, guys. Enjoy the big bass catches. The pig. Oh yeah, baby doll. No. Oh my gosh. That's a good one. That's another tower. Oh god. Oh shit. That's a boat flip fail and that might be a five and a half. bigger that's she's pushing six big one we got these two big bass here but the one weighed six pounds one ounce and this guy weighed right at five pounds we get a release on these guys there you go it's a tank <laughs> 